Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Cardano Clans. Shoutouts to them. Thank you guys so much for helping me out. Without these videos, I wouldn't be able to continue to make them every single day. So thank you so much, and let me know what you think about them in the comments below. Without further ado, I'm gonna jump right in. Starting off, we're gonna be looking at some sneak peeks and see what their art looks like. It's these hench dudes. I think Irishmen are the style since it is an all Irish team. I'll get to that. So some of them got hairy arms. Some of them are hairless with some tattoos. Some of them are trying to be futuristic, but they're all kind of caveman style. Just hench, buff dudes, ready to go to war. Ready to just F some stuff up, basically. This is pretty cool. This is like the... Oh, what is that movie with Nicolas Cage? Ghost Rider. That's what that looks like. And then you got the laser eyes, of course. This kind of looks like Green Lantern a little bit. Uh, that's like Cardano Man or something. That looks freaking sick. This one looks really cool, too. This is like Van Helsing or something. I really do like their art, but moving on. So the main purpose of this project are just collectibles for now. They do have metaverse integration that they're planning and some other things with some 3D assets, but they don't want to plan too much as it's not ready yet. Some of their ideas about why and how you would collect are with these clan names. So each NFT will have a special attribute contained within the metadata. The attribute will be called clan name. This will give owners the opportunity, if so desired, to collect and link their NFTs by their clan names. As the minting process will be completely random, you're obviously going to have to go on the secondary market, and that's where some of the value and trading back and forth may come from. Over on their facts page, we can see that they have 8,888 NFTs. The public mint will take place on the 3rd of April, and there will be a pre-sale slash OG launch on the 2nd of April. The public mint will be 45 ADA a piece, and you will be able to mint three per transaction. All right, so there's going to be 1,550 allocated for the OG tier ones and tier two whitelist spots. If you are an OG whitelist tier one member, you will be able to mint for 40 ADA. You'll be able to mint five of them per wallet, and you'll be guaranteed one NFT airdropped to you. If you are a tier two holder, you will also be able to mint for 40 ADA and you will be able to mint only three NFTs. Now, also, if you minted during the presale and you're an OG whitelist tier two, you will be entered into a raffle to be drawn to get one NFT airdropped to you. There's going to be 300 NFTs available for this. Something interesting to note is that they say whitelist tier two is gifted to anyone in the discord until they reach 1,550 members. So we can look at the member count and we can see that there's about 500 members left that can get the whitelist tier two. So if you're seeing this video now, maybe you wanna get in and get that whitelist spot. Looking over at their roadmap, you can see that they're first gonna do the mint, then they're gonna do the early supporter mint benefits. So this is gonna be some of the people who will get airdrops, uh, the giveaways, rewards, and merchandise. Then they're going to release their rarity chart. So that won't be released until after the mint. And then they're going to make some donations to charity. The next season two will be a clan meetup in Dublin, Ireland. Their team is from Ireland. They're an all Irish crew. So it only makes sense that that's where they would meet. Then they're going to have a flight and accommodation paid for one clan holder. That sounds freaking sick. If I was that clan holder and I got to go to Ireland, dude, that would be so freaking cool. But anyways, yeah, somebody's going to go to Ireland. So that's pretty cool. Release plans for their metaverse project. And yes, it is a metaverse project, but it's not what you think. They're not creating their own metaverse. They have some lands, I believe, in Pavia as well as Unbounded Earth. So we'll have to see exactly what they do with those. Then they're going to do their limited airdrop to holders and launch their season two clan women mint. Next up, we have their royalties. They're going to distribute that to their holders. They're going to do further donations to charities. They're going to do a limited airdrop to the holders, and then they're going to launch their children mint. Lastly, we have season four, and this is where they're going to be doing ongoing holder benefits, airdrops, and the, the airdrops this time are going to be limited pets. So maybe we see some dogs or wolves or something, maybe something you can kind of have by your side that just goes and Fs stuff up, you know, because these clan members look like they wouldn't just walk around with a little kitty cat, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, then they're going to have the clans in the metaverse, and then they're going to have their family portrait NFT. I'm not sure what this is, but it'll be interesting. I do think that it's going to have something to do with the clan name, and I'll get into that in just a sec. All right, so I was actually just plain wrong. This doesn't have anything to do with the clan name. They're predicting that people want to acquire a family. So you'll have uh, your, your male, you'll have your female, you'll have your child, and then you'll be airdropped a pet. 
and then you'll be able to put them all together and create this family portrait. All right, so they will be giving away 10,000 ADA to their loyal members as part of these airdrops. Also, they're going to be using some of this money for marketing. That's just obvious, makes sense. You want your project to grow and so do your holders. Then they're gonna talk about their metaverse and they do hold these Pavia and Unbounded Earth parcels. So we're gonna have to see how that all works. Then they're going to be doing a free minting pass and all you need to do is hold three or more of their clan NFTs and you'll automatically be whitelisted for the future mints. Next, they're talking about merchandise. We will be creating some exclusive products and merchandise available to clan holders only. Going over and checking out their socials, we can see they have 2,700 followers on Twitter, which is a bit more than their Discord, so that's nice to see. Also, over on their Instagram, they have a really cool Instagram page where they show some of their artwork, and I think that looks pretty cool. It also does give me kind of Clash of Clans vibes, if anybody knows about that, but just the artwork a little bit and some of the textures and stuff just reminds me of it. But this looks pretty organic, 94 followers, looks very brand new, but it also looks very good. And I think anybody who posts their stuff on Instagram as far as NFTs is concerned, it's probably going to be a pretty small following because for the Cardano community at least, we're very used to Twitter and Discord. Heading over to their teams page, we can see that there's three team members. Tom Kelly, who is the clan admin, you have Don Carey, who is the artist, and then you have Rob Megan. And they are doxxed, and that's probably the most beautiful part of the whole thing. Look at this beautiful, handsome man right here. Look at him, Tom Kelly, smiling for the camera. Doxing himself, you got the captain right here at the Tottenham game a few months back. And then you also have the LinkedIn page. I love to see it. I hope more projects start to do stuff like this, but let's move on. Last thing to note is their website. I do think that their website is very clean. All their buttons work, and I know maybe that's basic, but I've been to a lot of websites, and sometimes those buttons do not work. So it is nice to see that everything works. Everything looks really great. This scrolls and it's really cool too because you can also hold it and drag yourself, which I think is a really cool feature. And you can do it on the top and the bottom part. Next, they're just talking a little bit more about their mint goals. So every one fourth sold, they're going to be giving away 1500 ADA airdropped between three people. And they're also going to add 5,000 ADA to the charity pot. So they will be donating some of this money to cancer as well. You can scroll down. You can look at more stuff. You can see that this is pretty interactive, like things pop up. It just looks clean. I'm pretty happy with their website. All right, wrapping it up here. They got a docs team, 8,888 NFTs, 45 ADA a piece, 1,500 available for the whitelist spots at 40 a piece, and they're already verified on JPEG. If any of you guys are interested in this project, I will link their Discord in the description below. If any of this content helped you, remember to give me a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Remember to get outside, see a family, see your friends. We're here to make more money so we can spend more time with them. Until next time, guys, peace. I get it like a G, but it never came easy. You got me coughing up a lung, I wish I rap like Wheezy. I keep my pace, so I'm sorry that I'm breezy. Keep my sneaks laced, cause I can't afford Yeezys. I don't want the gold, give me BTC. Y'all be acting crazy.